back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, in today's video, I wanted to look at a couple of things. I wanted to take a look at Rahu. I wanted to take a look at YouTube. And I wanted to take a look at a famous YouTuber who has done extremely well. Uh, I happen to have her birth time. I did a bit of a Google search and I found it. I won't give you the name of this person because she's still very much active, still very much on the scene and uh, it, it, it really wouldn't be right to um, mention her name anywhere. But uh, she's, she's important. It's important for me to talk about her life in order to illustrate the idea and the concept that I want to talk about today. Now the concept is, and I've got it written on my screen, a working title which of course could change when it comes time for me to publish this video, but at the moment I've got uh, career astrology because I haven't uploaded any career astrology ones for a while so I wanted to do one. Um, career astrology, does the platform for your greatness even exist yet? Right, interesting huh? So where does this concept come from? This concept comes from me contemplating the life of one of the young British vloggers who is very much on the scene right now she is extremely famous. I'm not going to mention her name, but you can, you'll of course figure it out if you live in this country, especially if you live in Brighton, um, if you live in the United States and you are Australia and you don't really know the British vlogging scene here in the UK. Uh, she's, she's pretty easy to find. She's perhaps one of the, I think she's the top best vlogger in all of the United Kingdom. She has um, written and released several books which have all been bestsellers. She has her own makeup and beauty line in Superdrug. It's one of the largest chains here in the United Kingdom. She's commercially extremely, extremely successful. And it all started by her just typing a little blog uh, and then that turned into videos and she was just posting a video every single day. And I've got her chart up here on the screen and it's really interesting. You can't find the time for a lot of the new young YouTubers. It's very difficult to find their time. But this one, because she has had such tremendous commercial success, when you type her name and then Astro theme, boom, she comes up and you're able to get the time. I have studied her as a case um, quite a lot. And I enjoy watching her videos. I think she is an outstanding um, vlogger. I think she is, I think she's done a really great thing. Um, a really, you know, very watchable person. And I've really enjoyed tuning into her. And by watching her vlogs and sitting with her chart and matching up the life, it's been a really great astrological case study. And the title comes from me contemplating her life because when I look at her chart, when you look at her 11th house in particular, so let me um, just draw it, oh, there we go, let me draw it out and you'll be able to follow along with me. So I'll just put here famous YouTuber <laughs> because this YouTube phenomenon, right, I mean, I remember the days of not having email, you know, I remember... 1995, I remember having, um, what was it, like a 28.8 kilobits per second modem at home. I remember um, being on IRC, Internet Relay Chat, and chatting with people. I did have an email address in the late 90s. So, you know, I mean, but I remember the days of not having any of this stuff. So I've seen it all. I've seen the whole evolution. And I love getting older. It is so cool being old and being able to say, I lived in a time when there was no little to no technology. But that's where my dad was a visionary. He always made sure that we had a computer. Back in 1985, I think it was, he bought the family a computer. We were like probably the only family on the street to have a, a computer. And it was an IBM JX and um, yeah, anyway. Let me draw this lovely young person's chart. I'm, I'm going to use um, words, guys, so that you can, because the, 
it'll be difficult to um, Mars and Saturn 11th house you'll see and K2 is here oh have I got that right yes I do okay right so uh, if you can't read it it says famous youtuber whose name I won't reveal I could put her name in the title and in a hashtag and rack up like 10,000 views I'm not going to do it because no that's just because this person really does deserve privacy. She's too young and uh, so I'm not going to draw all the planets in either. So that's my little way of getting around the rule of not, you know, showing people's chart too much and things like that. Um, because I totally respect that. And it, this is something I've learned from Eve Mendoza. She says that you shouldn't really, um, I mean, we probably shouldn't even be doing this really. But I, I kind of think it's okay because the whole point of this video is to ignite an idea in your mind and we're, we're just using this information as a prop so let's take a look so we've got Ketu here in the fifth house and we've got Venus Rahu Mars Saturn in uh, the 11th here and this is I'm going to put number 10 there Capricorn okay so you can see the Lord um, of the house here is with Rahu there's a particular emphasis on hitting the ground running on go 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 be in the Rahu house early build 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 a lot of work has to be done this time around for this person and I can tell you this person is doing it and doing it very well um, so the platform didn't exist when you look at this 11th house you can see the gains right there's so much activity there's so much emphasis on creating gains and big gains and she certainly has and and, and she's kind of we've got here Capricorn business you could say she's kind of made a business out of friendship because all of her however many 10 million followers or however many there are they're all her friends right and she's making money out of that they watch a little something, they feel like they've had half an hour of friendship and she's just made, you know, however much it is from a YouTube salary, right? So, by the way, my channel is too small to earn any money, so it doesn't, but that's another story. Um, but like, you know, that's what she's got going on here. So when when I looked at this, right, and if you look at this and you don't know that this person is a famous YouTuber. You just see it as a person. You're going to look at this house and you're going to go, well, um, yeah, I think you're going to get some gains this time around. It's also Venus Rahu, right? So it's like, okay, you're going to have some money coming in. Now, what's interesting about her is that she didn't know when she was a child. I think she, like me, grew up in a time when the internet wasn't that big. So she didn't know where these great gains were going to come from, right? When she was a little girl imagining, okay, what am I going to do when I grow up? And I think she does talk about it. She says she would have liked to have been an interior designer. Um, you know, at, at that age where the internet wasn't so big, where pe people weren't even emailing that much or whatever, she did not know the platform which was going to bring in so much money for her. She didn't have a clue, right? And that is really important because maybe the money that you're going to make, the big money that you're going to make in life, maybe the platform through which you're going to make it doesn't even exist yet, okay? So that's really where I'm going with this concept. And how can we tell from looking at this chart and from seeing what's going on here, how can we tell that the platform doesn't exist? Well... I tend to see that where Rahu is, a very black and white way of looking at Rahu Ketu axis is you can see Ketu as the past and you can see Rahu as the future. Rahu is future as well, right? It's where we're meant to go and it's a, a future that perhaps doesn't even exist yet. Um, the platform of YouTube is a very Rahu platform. It's completely Rahu because it's it's the outcast. When you look at media, and believe me, I know this, when I worked in advertising, nobody took YouTube seriously and nobody took these young YouTubers seriously. 
and you know advertising some of the agencies I was in just as recent as last year doing a bit of freelance contract work there you know those guys are still in a bubble they're still thinking that you know that what they do is is the main thing it's not it the times have changed and I'm pretty sure it's um, Rahu is Rahu Mahadasha is in operation in the United States. The United States is this country that has kind of led the world culturally. You know, we follow what they do. We follow what they think is cool. And you know, YouTube is huge there too. Uh, I mean, well, it's it's an American thing, right? All, all of this is, is is American. So you know. It's just amazing. So I, I do see Rahu, like YouTube as a, is a Rahu kind of a, a place because the mainstream media consider it an outcast. And I think in the established world, it is not the big thing, but it is becoming the big thing, you know, especially with a big superpower like the United States being in Rahu Mahadasha. And, you know, I think this, this whole platform is going to grow. But like, yeah, it's interesting. She's got Rahu conjunct quite a lot of planets here and she's ended up becoming this, this famous YouTuber, making the majority of her money. Um, well, now I think it's coming from products and business and other things. Now she's very much, you know, with the, with the Capricorn thing here, the life is corporatized and, and she's got a lot of money coming in from a lot of sources. But... Really, it, it was the YouTube platform that did it for her. And I think because Rahu is conjunct these planets, when you see Rahu conjunct several planets, you know that there's future involved. You know, it's technology can be involved. These can be very tech people when they have um, a lot of Rahu present in the chart. I tend to see that, you know, high tech people have Rahu going on. Um but yeah, so if you've got, maybe you've got Rahu conjunct a few planets, right? And maybe, you know, you need to be, I don't know, heading towards something like that. Or maybe you might be wondering, why is it taking so long? And look at this. She's got Saturn here as well. She's got, yeah, she's got Saturn here as well. So that, if we consider that the house, right? Saturn. It wasn't fast. It wasn't a fast rise. It took her time. And here's, here's an interesting point. Um, I was just doing some research and Cosmopolitan magazine had an article and they said um, Feb 2007, she registers a YouTube channel under her username but doesn't post anything. And then what happens? December 2009, she posts her first YouTube video. Right, so Feb 2007 was when she first registered on the YouTube platform. She did nothing for two years, more than, right? And then she posts her first YouTube video. So I wanted, I was interested to see that. I was like, okay, what was she running at that time? And I'm pretty sure it was a Venus um, Jupiter when she, let's have a look at this. I did look this up, but hang on, let me also see how I'm doing for time. Oh, I'm talking too long, guys. I could talk for an hour about this person's chart. There's more to say. There's so much more to say. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it short, though. I, I'm going to be sensible. Look, the, the main point that I wanted to get across, you can see anyway what's going on when she registered and why she kind of did nothing for a while. Saturn then kicks in and then boom, she starts producing all these YouTube videos. But my main message here is to say to you, that things might not be happening or things might be slow or you might be wondering what's going on. And look, with this person, she so she took two years before she registers the channel. Then when she starts making the videos, she wasn't earning any money. Nobody at that time was earning revenue from YouTube advertising. It just wasn't happening. A lot of these kids who have these massive, massive channels, they started at a time when... They weren't earning any money from this. They did it for the joy. They did it because they wanted to. They did it for the love and for the fun of it. And I think that's how you got to do it. I think if you're going to do this kind of thing, it's got to be for the joy and the love of it. And um, that's definitely what she did. And, and it took her many, many years before she got to a place where, you know, 
she started making big money off this and all that kind of thing. And, and you can see other yogas and you can see things happening. You can see why the rise is happening. It's a fascinating case study. But my message to you is to ask you that, look, all right, you might be wondering what am I meant to do or why is my life so slow or why is it taking time or, you know, when is my great thing going to happen? And I want to say to you that does the platform even exist yet? Maybe you need to wait. Maybe you need to take your time and wait. Maybe things, maybe the angels are working in the background. Maybe they're getting the structures up and running and they're getting things ready for you. Okay, so don't worry. Maybe let it happen naturally, you know. And um, yeah, I mean, anything can happen. And especially if you've got Rahu in the mix, then it might be a brand new technology that we have not even heard of yet. And you are meant to achieve your greatness through that new technology. Maybe you're going to invent it. Who knows? I don't know. But it's it's just amazing. So that's my video for today. I hope it has been interesting food for thought. And I hope, um, you know, I hope it helps bring a, bring a sense of uh, patience. It's a Saturnian patience that we need sometimes. Um, and, and we need structures or platforms or things to be built first before we can make our moves so I really want to thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time